What if I told you the biggest construction battle on the planet isn't about laying the most track or pouring the most concrete? It's a silent, invisible war over a single molecule. And it's happening right now, deep in the heart of Europe's most ambitious project. The prize? A zero emission future. The weapon? Hydrogen. The battlefield? A $134 billion mega project so vast it's been called the most extreme construction zone in the world. Welcome to Planet Builders. Today, we're going inside the fight to build our future without burning our planet. The construction industry is responsible for nearly 40% of global CO2 emissions. For over a century, that dirty secret has been powered by one ubiquitous machine, the diesel generator. It's loud, it's filthy, but it's reliable. But that is all changing. Right now, a revolution is unfolding on a scale that's almost hard to comprehend. It's a high-stakes gamble, a technological showdown, and it's all centered on the simplest element in the universe, hydrogen. And the front line of this war? A project so colossal it's reshaping the European continent. This is not just one project. It's a network, a web of infrastructure so immense, it's being called the European Hydrogen Backbone. Imagine a dedicated highway system, but instead of cars, it's built for pure hydrogen gas. The plan? Over 30,000 kilometers of repurposed and new pipelines stretching from the windswept coasts of Portugal to the industrial heartland of Germany. This isn't a distant dream. Construction is already surging ahead. Officials have admitted that in some zones, the forest of cranes is so dense, they literally blot out the sun. The goal is audacious, to connect vast green hydrogen production sites powered by North Sea wind farms and Mediterranean solar arrays to the industries that need it most, steel mills, chemical plants, and yes, the very construction sites that are building this network itself. But to understand why this is such a brutal battle, we need to look at a smaller yet equally critical proving ground. While Europe builds the hydrogen highway, the UK's HS2 high-speed rail project is fighting the war on the ground. This $100 billion project is itself one of the world's largest construction sites, and it's become a living laboratory for hydrogen technology. And at a site in London, called Victoria Road, something extraordinary is happening. These two bland white containers are the shock troops of this revolution. Inside them, not diesel generators, but hydrogen power units, or HPUs. Built by a company called Geopura, these units are quietly and cleanly powering a significant portion of the site's operations. Think about this for a second. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. It carries three times the energy per kilo than gasoline. And when you use it in a fuel cell, the only emission is perfectly clean water. You could literally drink from the exhaust of a hydrogen-powered bulldozer. Not that you'd want to, but you could. The HS2 site is proving that it's technologically possible to perform heavy construction, running lights, powering offices, charging electric machinery, with absolutely zero carbon emissions. This is a monumental proof of concept. So who are the minds behind this? The company leading the charge is Geopura. Founded in 2019, they didn't just see a product, they saw an entire ecosystem. Their business model is genius. They don't just sell the power units, they provide the service. It's like a hydrogen utility. Companies like the HS2 contractors hire the HPUs, and Geopura takes care of the fuel. Green hydrogen produced from renewable sources. Their vision is staggering. To have a fleet of 3,600 HPUs deployed by 2033, backed by their own dedicated green hydrogen production facilities. They are building the infrastructure for the infrastructure builders. But folks, this is where the story takes a sharp turn, because this revolution is teetering on a knife's edge. Now for the cold shower of reality. Several major hydrogen-focused companies have hit the wall, facing financial ruin. Why? It all boils down to two words, cost and logistics. Right now, green hydrogen, made from renewable energy, is expensive. It simply cannot compete on price with dirty, cheap diesel. Building new production facilities is capital-intensive. And then there's the logistics nightmare. 
Hydrogen is the smallest molecule there is. It's notoriously difficult to store and transport. It can make metal pipes brittle and leak through almost anything. Transporting it by truck and high-pressure tanks is inefficient and costly. This is precisely why that European pipeline network is so critical. It's the only way to make hydrogen distribution viable at a continental scale. The companies that are failing are the ones caught in this valley of death, the gap between a brilliant technological prototype and a cheap, scalable, mainstream product. So, does this mean the hydrogen dream is dead? Absolutely not. What we're seeing isn't an ending, it's a brutal, necessary shakeout. The companies that survive, like Geopura with its solid partnership with Siemens Energy, are the ones with robust models and long-term vision. They're betting that scale and government support will bring costs down. The European Green Deal and other global initiatives are pouring billions into this transition. The calculus is changing. The true cost of diesel, its health impacts, its environmental damage is finally being factored in. The battle is shifting from can we make it work to how fast can we scale it. The construction of our future is inherently paradoxical. To build a greener world, we have to tear up the old one, a process that has traditionally been incredibly dirty. The $134 billion European hydrogen project and pioneers at sites like HS2 are trying to solve that paradox. They are fighting the most extreme construction battle on the planet, not with bulldozers and dynamite, but with chemistry, engineering, and sheer will. It's a high-risk, high-reward gamble. If they win, they won't just have built a railway or a pipeline, they will have built the blueprint for the first truly clean industrial revolution. What do you think? Is hydrogen the ultimate answer, or is it a distraction? Let's build the conversation down in the comments. If you want to see more extreme engineering and the projects shaping our planet, smash that like button, subscribe to Planet Builders, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next episode. We're building the future, one video at a time. Thanks for watching. See you on the next site.